Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to get into Note Plan 3 on mobile, which is the iPhone and the iPad since it only supports the Apple ecosystem. Now, Note Plan is a note taking application that combines the calendar and reminders as well as your notes all into one application and it combines all of these things really well. And I wanted to show the mobile experience. I have another video that shows the desktop experience within Note Plan 3. And this video is going to walk you through the user experience on your mobile device. But before we get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out and it helps these videos get out to other individuals like yourself. And with that out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, so we're in the app on the iPhone now and we're on the daily note screen. The by default here, you get the weekly list at the top there where you get, have a week of the calendar view. You also get if you have your calendar and your reminders, you have access to those. Those will show up as well at the top of the note and you can expand those out if you need to. And then below the the calendar items and the the reminder items, you'll have your note where you can you can have your task list or your just, your, you know, the notes that you put in your daily note. Now, this view is really nicely laid out. You can hit the arrow here on the left to remove the actual calendar portion at the top. You can move that back down. You can also set it to where the weekly calendar can be a month or you can even make it full screen and you can hide the agenda and all you have here is the calendar now in this view here we can hit those three dots on the side and we have some options here where we can share create an event or a reminder we can archive any processed events this is really nice so if you have any tasks in your note that you've already checked off this will actually go ahead and archive those. If you have any open, you have the next option here, move all open tasks. You can move these to your next day. You can copy the different links, an internal link or an actual URL for the note itself. And then you, you can perform a sync at, the, at this moment. And then you can share the note to another app or an individual. So the daily note view is the only view where you're going to see the calendar at the top. So all of the tasks that have not been done in your daily notes will show up here. At the bottom, we have this little search icon. If we press that and let it go, we'll get this little search bar so we can search through our different notes. And if we click into the note, we have this top row of kind of shortcut keys that give us some different functionality to make it easier to format the, the notes and to work with the markdown formatting. If you have any internal links like we do here, if we click on this, we can see it's not, it will not switch over to the, to that particular file that's in here. What you need to do is you have this little arrow here above the keyboard on the top right of the keyboard there. If you select that down, it takes you out of the edit mode. So if you're so if you have a cursor in the, the note itself, you're in an edit mode and none of your links will actually work. But if you go hit the low arrow down arrow, remove the keyboard. Now you're in this uh, preview or view mode. You can select the link and it will take you to the, to the document or whatever the link maps to now in your other note files that are not daily notes you'll see a different view here you do not get the calendar at the top whether it's a week or a month and you don't get any of your calendar or reminders in at the top of this note either now what you do see here are references to this note so if you have any other notes out there that are ma mapped or have a link to this note those will show at the top and if you hit the expand all all those references will show up you can collapse that the three dots on the top right there those gives you some similar options to what we had in the daily note where you can share you can archive processes move open tasks 
copy links. You can do a sync and also share these notes. And you also get the search feature down at the bottom if you tap the icon there. We go back out. We have the navigation or kind of the, the explorer view here that gives you all the different areas within note, note plan. These can all be collapsed. So if there's some of these views you don't want to see or sections here, you can collapse those so that they're not shown and then open them up as you need. So below the daily notes, you have this review section. This review section has your filters for things that you want to see and you can customize these fi these filters and add your own filters. Here are four different features we have in there. I have this bang upcoming. This is one, the upcoming is a default one, but I changed it to bang and also edit it so that it shows more stuff that I want to see. So this shows all the different notes, the, the tasks in the different notes and also all of my calendar and reminders. As I mentioned, these can be edited. So if you hit the gearbox here in the top right, you can go ahead and edit these filters. You can create new ones as well from here. And you can also rename or delete the filters. If we click on the edit, we'll see some of the options. So if we go all the way to the top, you can add a keyword for your filter. You can select whether you want to search in the notes, calendar events or reminders. And these can either be one or more settings that you turn on or off. Same with the status for the tasks. You can select whether they're open, done, moved, canceled, or have no status. And these can be one or more. You can select a time frame on the calendar that you want to filter for. And you can also sort here at the bottom whether you want the the future to past or past to future. So old to new or new to old. We go back to that navigation pane there at below the review section. We have the notes. Here's where you'll have all your folders and your notes uh, stored or shown. You can create folders for your notes. Your notes could be in the root directory there where you have the new file shown outside of a folder and this can be customized to your liking. You see, I have two folders at the top there that has a bang in front of it, then an emoji icon, and then the name inbox and Cerebro. We have this demo project, which comes by default and the new file was one as shown as a test below the notes. You have smart folders. These have your recent folders here or recent notes. These have your recent notes and I think it's limited to five. It only shows five anytime that I've been in here, but that should be plenty. You have any notes that you've archived will show up here and also any notes in the trash will show up here as well. And then below the smart folders, you have your different tags the at mention tags and the hashtags. And lastly, in this navigation pane, you can get into your, your preferences, which has all of your settings in it. Um, you can change the plan that you have. You can change any, anything on the, for the calendars. So you can hide uh, calendars you don't want to see. You can set the beginning day for the week. You can set up your theme and there's a few things in here that you can actually use by default. You can change the font size and below that you can set up your syncing options. See, I'm using the default, which is using the cloud kit. You can change the, the file extension that you use by default. It is TXT, but I changed it to dot MD here. And you have the option to rename your notes once you change that file extension. You can change some of the options here for the to do's when you're um, setting, when you're scheduling them, whether you append the, the actual date that you're scheduling it for and also the completion date. 
Below that, we have this markdown area where you can configure whether you want to have smart links, render markdown, recognize the star as the to do. You can change that to have it be the the dash or the starting with the numbers and below those options you can set one of these to be your default whether you want the star or the dash to be your default for to do's then down at the bottom we have our help where you can get to the help on reddit or email and below that you can get to the website newsletter the privacy policy and then terms of use also on this list the at the bottom here on the bottom right you can get to the search and also you have the add button there where you can add a note or folder into your um, note structure here now i really think that this application has been developed pretty well the user experience here the ui how everything flows it's really nice on the iphone the ipad and on the desktop there's pretty much total consistency from what i can see between all the devices the functionality on all the devices and how it looks and present itself to you being able to see my calendar and all my reminders and have access to my notes all in one place makes my workflow a lot more efficient and i think that the app is well worth the 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 cost of the app let's go into see what that cost is if we go into preferences you can see the plan now the cost for the, if you pay month to month is $7.699. If you pay the annual fee, it drops to $5 a month, which is $60 a year. And the business class here, they have a $99 a year business class subscription. Now these are subscriptions. So every year or every month, you're gonna be paying for these. Um, if you wanna use the application, for again as i said for what i'm getting from the app i think that it's worth it i'm not being paid by this company by the developer i'm just a user of the app i've been looking for something like this for a while so it's nice to see that this app at least gets most of the way on the desktop front and pretty much a hundred percent of the way on the mobile front so on the phone and the tablet the the functionality that i get from these are pretty much everything that i'm going to need it for when i'm on my phone or ipad on the desktop there you know there is some things that are missing it doesn't support the entire markdown formatting um, but i can use other other applications for that because it's, it is saving the files in plain text. So wrapping it up, my experience so far using Note Plan 3 has been wonderful. Um, I can't wait again to see the additions that comes down the road. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I also have a buy me a coffee link down in the description. If you want to buy me a coffee, go ahead. If not, that's fine too. And until the next time, have a nice day.